I recently shared an update on this tank. This is a 20 gallon tall with male Endler's line bearers. I've managed to select breed with a blue coloration, cherry shrimp, and a couple of Amano shrimp. Plant growth in this tank is quite good, however, I think largely because I offer live brine shrimp Nopoli on a daily basis, the tank does get a lot of black beard algae. And so, absent any species that will consume it, of course, any species will go for prepared food before algae. Manual removal is the only option and so I remove plants as they become infested and replace hardscape as it gets covered in algae. There's also it's not the green hair algae that I'm accustomed to. This tends to grow sort of like grass on a hardscape and this came with some creek rock that I collected from a creek here locally. I see it's beginning to infest the upper edge of the hardscape. So I wanted to show a before shot of the tank before I do some major renovation and then I will allow the water to settle before shooting the aftershot. A friend from my local fish club gave me some plants and today's Saturday he gave them to me Monday and now I noticed a fry in the 72 gallon tank where I put the plants. I wasn't ready to add fauna to the tank. Since it still has one part per million ammonia, but I hesitate to move the fry, I'd have to set up a, another tank which isn't a big problem, but I think the stress of the move more than anything would be a danger to it. So I will attempt to add Libron Trentinopoly and vinegar eels and hopefully this one and any others that hatch from eggs on the probably Java moss will survive. There, that's much better. Having replaced the hardscape with rocks that have some desiccated algae, but it isn't very noticeable. That dead algae may contain some spores that encourage algae to repopulate the escape. It isn't bad at this point. And gotten rid of plants that were hopelessly infested with black beard algae. And moved the java moss to a niche between the flat rocks. I think it looks quite nice. I'm reminded by Jesse Klein of Salient Aquatics in a recent video that he put out that I am overfeeding this tank. I add algae wafers every other day. Not much. Maybe half a wafer, quarter of a wafer, or even less for the shrimp. However, in a 
heavily populated and reasonably escape tank with lots of plants. The shrimp will eat decaying plant matter, detritus dropped by the fish, and they don't really need that much, maybe once a week. I can add sinking pellets although the male endlers live bearers will consume much of it there should be plenty of leftovers for the tiny scavengers <laughs>